transportation. The Human Bridge. This is a story of transition from the old to the new. How a night seen first in the minds of a few men was translated by human brains and hands into a motor car, familiar now on all the highways of the world. The story begins here in 1946. It was morning, the beginning of another day of automobile production. The men and women who were to take a major role in the drama of transition hardly knew the idea had been born. It would pass through many hands and many minds before it would reach them. But they knew that any new idea would be taken by them through the last stages to completion. This idea was a revolutionary event. But you would hardly have known it on that morning in 1946. In small ways are crystallized the dreams a cycle in the transition, the old to the new. coming on those sketches of the new model. Okay, we've started. I have something here now and can show it to you soon. Fine. Let's have a look at it today, if possible. Thank you, Harold. The car is designed from the inside out. The idea is to move everything forward so that the passengers in the back seat are riding ahead of the rear wheels. Then we can bring the overall height down and have even more room inside. So here is the idea. A motor car conceived as a space for the riders. Space that is to be enclosed and powered so that from one place to another, more comfortably and with greater pleasure. It's really more than a new automobile design. It's new horizons. It's freedom of movement for the people who will one day drive it and ride in it, who will value it as a possession second only to the homes in which they live. But that day is two years away. While we've been looking on, already months have slipped by. Not long ago, a few men had the idea to themselves. Now dozens of people are teaming up to develop it. As yet, no one knows what the car designed from the inside out is going to look like. But they're dreaming practical dreams on the subject. Dreams that are kept under lock and key. Designers are getting these dreams down on paper, drawing outlines around them and filling them in with color. Is this the car? Is this what it will look like? Well, perhaps the sweep of a fender, the curve of a top, the lines of a hood. Perhaps one segment of a form will develop after weeks of capturing dream cars on paper. something that may be a composite of the visions in half a hundred fertile minds. This is worth developing. This may be the body outline that is to be familiar on every street and every road in the land. It's a long time now since the idea first went down on paper. The idea takes form and dimension in quarter scale. It's time to shape it up full size in clay so other minds can work on it, so they can walk around it and talk about it.
something else has happened to the original dream. They've broken it down to the fine points, and other people are having ideas on the details. So the idea travels and grows, taking shape in the feel and texture of fabric. taking color from studies of what people like, studies in fine variations of shades. Finally, the idea is approaching full form, and they spray color on the clay mock-ups, color and trim, to get them ready for the hour of decision. Than a year, the idea has come a long way. We have developed two full-size clay versions of it, and the men who will guide the production of the car, the men who will advertise it and sell it, have the final say at this point. They have to study the idea and think, how will it look in the showroom? How will it look on the highway? Going shopping down Elm Street, driving to the picnic on Sunday afternoon. How will it look parked in the driveway? How much will it cost? They make the final decision, and the idea is on its way to becoming an automobile. But it's an automobile still a long way from production. From clay mock-ups, they go to handmade test cars, hammered to shape on wooden forms. Not as perfect as production cars, but something that can be driven and tried out. Yes, a long way from the final product. But transition from the old to the new has begun. Then a great moment arrives. The shape of the new comes out into the light of day. And now a dream that was born in silence feels power in its veins and comes to life. They give it a number and a clean page on which to write the story of its life. And they start it out onto the test track. There will be more test cars, dozens more, they will go on hour after hour, day after day, week after week, over good roads for speed and bad roads to break them down, over a road that goes round and round in a circle, but which leads to new horizons for people all over the world. It was relatively easy to sketch the original idea on paper. But now that it's a motor car going into production, now that its plans and specifications must pass through hundreds of minds and hands, it's being translated into precise mechanical lines on thousands of sheets of paper. These men with their keen pencils will have to prescribe how to line up bolt holes, 
and fabricated steel parts to be welded. They will have to diagram where to drill 900 other holes and profile a lot of odd shapes and angles. Now it happens that you need more than hammers, screwdrivers, and socket wrenches to build a car. So more scores of hands and brains go to work designing special tools, the kind of tools that may weigh up to 70 tons apiece. This is one of them. It is designed to press out the shape of an automobile top from a tough steel sheet. From paper plans, they mock up the die and plaster. Then the tool and die men hang it up and use it for a pattern, while their machine traces over the form and digs its counterpart out of a block of steel. As much as nine months' time is required to profile the metal die for the roof panel alone. They work these dies over for weeks, dressing them down, grinding and polishing them, until they come within a fraction of an inch of touching in the press. What they have produced is something that will take steel strip in its jaws and shape a section of a car body. They develop dies for fenders, for tops, for side panels, and for floor pans. It's hard to remember now that there was a time when the car was no more than an idea. The operation is spreading out. Red ore, iron from Misabe, by the thousands of tons, is disturbed from its primeval bed in the iron range to pass come automobiles that will be familiar on roads all over the nation. Limestone, coal, a lot of earth substances have been dug up and transported to make a dream come true.